Um, Adam, what do you believe? We're talking about religion, we're talking about theology. So, yeah, what do you think? I'm a Christian, so I've, brought, I've been brought up in a Christian family, my a Christian background. Um, my faith of Christianity is, I'm, I still believe God, there is God, and I know like, yeah, so, so you, you believe in God, yes. you believe in Christianity? Yes. Okay. Jesus Christ, God is sent by God. Yes. Which is it? Uh, we're sent by God to put the word out into the world and also to like, um, kind of help young, like everyone break from their sins in a sense. So we believe as Christianity, we to actually help us with our sins. Oh, I agree. Sins. I agree with everything, yeah. apart from the part where you said God for our sins. But we will leave that to one yeah. side. Yeah. Uh, we believe in Trinity. Trinity. Yeah. Yes. Andy. Right. So you know Trinity affirms that the Father. Yeah. They're not three gods, but they're one God. Yeah. So Jesus Christ is equally God uh, with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is equally God with the Father. Yeah. Do you believe that? Yes. So basically, you believe Jesus Christ is God? No, in a sense. I feel like there is only one God. Um, and I think that Jesus sent down to us to actually help us. Like, open our eyes and a lot of things we are seeing. And kind of like show people that there is miracles out there that's going to happen. You're saying South Bank. Yes. But you're a heretic. Yeah. It's like, it's either you're a Christian that believes in Trinity, maybe you're Trinitarian, or you're not. So you either reject it in totality, where, or you're hermit. So you accept it or you reject it. So it's either Jesus Christ is part of the Trinity and is equally God, or you reject the Trinity. Because that's what Trinity teaches. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm making sense. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to force you. I think because I'm a bit of like a 50 50 with that. Um, I've actually gone into like a Jehovah Witness uh, church as well. And they, you know how they call say Jesus or God. Um, we just, like, Jehovah Witnesses, we say um, just Jehovah Witnesses. So that's how they talk about God. So would you, would you say Jehovah? Do you want to use the word Jehovah? Uh, I don't mind. It's up to you. I, I do generally feel like there's only one God that's created. Uh, son, um, and I do believe that this is what comes down to earth. Um, he is a, a father, not a child of the world. Um, but also, in a sense, like, Wait, who's the God, father of the child of the world? Uh, so Jesus is the child of the world. And I do feel like every single part of us are children and children of God. So he comes to us as his own image. Uh, I would not say that I would worship Jesus as I worship Jesus. Like, in my opinion, You're very quiet. Yeah, There's a very noise there. Yeah. Just make sure the mic is getting yeah. it. It's, it's interesting because the thing is, um, I'm, I'm trying to understand. I might have to stop basically because these, these are these are fully fully distracting me. Yeah. Alright. Uh, right. So now okay. so I appreciate what you're saying about Jesus Christ being the Son of God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can we go back to addressing the Trinity or should we oh, yeah, talk go about ahead. the Son of God? Yeah, you could address the Trinity because I when I said uh, the Father is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, yeah. uh, because the Holy Spirit is in, in us. Um, I think the Son is the person that has opened us in a sense of like, has opened our eyes with a lot of things. And God Himself is the, the person that has created us, has brought life into this world. Um, so I kind of separate that with three things. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I can reconcile what you believe in yeah. quite easily. There's a little bit of things we need to tweak up. Okay. So, right now, in Islam, we believe in like, what you call the Father in Heaven. Yeah. So we say God in Heaven. Mm -hmm. yeah? um, I don't feel comfortable with saying Father, so I say Lord in Heaven. Yeah, yeah. So the Lord is separate from His creation, which you believe. Yeah. Yeah? Um, Jesus Christ, a mighty messenger sent by God. He was chosen by God to articulate and show an example of how for us to live, what to do, what not to do. Yeah. Yeah? And the Holy Spirit, um, now, as the angel Gabriel, who, who done 
it's like the power of God, in a sense. So fulfilled God's like commandments in a sense, like, in a physical sense. Um, when Jesus Christ speaks when he was born through a virgin birth, yeah, it was like the angel Gabriel, yeah, um, that by the permission of God put the egg in Mary. That makes sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so then. That's how the miracle took place because there was no male intervention. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about what I'm saying? Yeah, it makes sense. Um, I won't like because my, um, I kind of like went away from my faith a lot. So this year I actually decided I'm going to build on more on that. Yeah. Um, good, good, good. Yeah. And I think especially like from my faith, I've kind of like I've always prayed to God for certain things that's happened in my life and um by God's way like, it's always kind of like direct things happen in a sense. Um yeah, but I, I kind of like I like to learn more about different religions because a lot of people have different perspectives. Like Jesus is more of a prophet that came to the world to give his knowledge. Um, which I do feel it is somewhat like very true. Um but I also do think like like, he is the like well, the whole thing about the the children of the earth, I feel like that is God's dream and He's created us in His own image. So we we got like um, a decision to make between the right and the wrong. So we have the free will. But I do think that Jesus came to us to actually give us the, the right way in order to live a righteous life. Um, so He is. Yeah, I agree. So he, he's showing us how to live, right? Yeah. And even addressing the point about Jesus Christ being the Son of God. What does that mean to you? Because right now, in the Bible, you've got uh, pious people refer to you as the children of God. Yeah. The disciples will refer to as children of God. So it doesn't make it anything like divine about Jesus Christ based upon it. Yeah. Makes sense. And if it was divine, he didn't show that divineness. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't articulate that. He didn't say, "Oh," because uh, many times in the Bible, he's saying like, "Of my own will, I can do nothing." Jesus Christ is praying to God. Yeah? So right now, I'm very confused. Like, what's the difference between what you believe and what Muslims believe? You, you sound like a proper like Muslim. So. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Tell it's tell quite me. the preaching is very like so now, but there's also like different um, things that we like. Yo, I'm the cover Muslim. You're even covering your hair. What's going on? I still coming out now. Still coming out now. Go on. Um, so there's a lot of similarities, but also there's like very little differences. Um, because like Christianity, they do believe that they worship. Some people worship. No, no. What, 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 what would you say is your difference? You tell me that look, this is the difference. What's the difference? I believe that there's only one God. That's what Muslims. Believe. Yeah, there is only one God. There's only one God that's created the earth. There's only one. That's God. what Muslims believe. Yeah. So tell me, what's the difference between what you believe and what I believe? There's no difference. Because yeah? at the moment. You said about Trinity, you've kind of you've categorically rejected the Trinity. You redefined the Trinity to kind of coincide with what Muslims believe. Yeah. So, what is the difference between what you believe and what I believe? Because at the moment, What's your, what's your belief in the Bible? Is it that perfect unchanging word of God? Uh, the Bible has been created by man. And I've done my research and a lot of like little tweets have been made. Um, but most of it is like just kind of making sure that people are put in the righteous way. Um, but I I love reading the Bible, so just based on the stories and the um, words. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, story, yeah. Yeah. So that's why I enjoy about it. So it kind of like it does teach you a lot about your own life, but also what you need to follow. Um, but in some sense, the like you know how Catholic they worship a certain creation of how Jesus looks like. But looking back in history, you see that this person back in Shakespeare was actually Shakespeare that had painted this man who um, he was not living a righteous life. He was um, gay. He um, who? The crazy, if you need look into um, the picture of Jesus Christ, yeah, the picture of Jesus Christ. He was gay. It was from Shakespeare time, so it was Shakespeare that actually uh, painted this man. Um, no, sorry, Leonardo, Leon, Leon, Leonardo. Yeah, I can't do. This Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. So if you do research and stuff, that um, so the whole image of it was actually created by uh, Mr. Sebastian. 
I, I have to, I can't verify verbatim what you're saying to be correct, but I think they I wouldn't be surprised because you will see like that, that similar picture images of Jesus Christ doesn't fit the to how like the weather, people the exactly. environment, the color yeah. of the skin, the yeah. color of the eyes, the hair color. So I don't I don't think that's a correct representation of what Jesus Christ looked like. But going back to my question. Yeah. Bible, do you think it is? Uh, you said things have been changed, a few things have been added to it, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. So, your belief, where do you get from? I think it's just, um, I, I'm grateful for how my family has raised me in a sense, but I think it's more, I kind of just focus on the rights and the wrong. So, but how do you know what is right, what is wrong? It's just from personal experience, and also you kind of like, um, have nice experience. It's just well, the certain paths that you choose, you realize how it can make can we put you this as a higher, person. Maybe on your black so, <laughs> So the first, the, the path the, that you choose the, in life. You have, you've got the black bag. Oh yeah. The black bag. Oh yeah. The strap. Yeah. I didn't even realize it. Up there. Black bag, black bag, black yeah. strap for the potential black bag. So it's, then you have to make sure there's no hair on it, yeah? It's gonna mess up okay. So much work, so much work. Right? <laughs> there, can you hear me? Um, I think it's just more about the, um, just life experience in a sense, because I've learned especially when you do the wrong thing, you know the, the consequences that's going to come after that. Uh, when you choose the right path, you have blessings that come after that. So it's also like what you've been taught when you get, like when you grow up, it's all about treating people with kindness, making sure that you give so you get more in life. Wouldn't God Almighty give you a perfect scripture, a perfect guidance you can follow without you having to kind of use these subjective experiences? Sorry, say that one time. Wouldn't God provide you a complete way of life through a perfect scripture which is verifiable yeah. to actually teach you, like instruction manual, ex instruction yeah. manual in regards to what to do and what not to do, rather than letting you kind of wing it where you're having these kind of subjective experiences that could be right, that could be wrong. Because depending on your environment and the society, they might enforce a certain behavior and yeah. reward a behavior which is evil and sinful because they've normalized it. Yeah. So I'm saying the Quran is a scripture, now we caught up perfectly for me and your boyfriend were talking yeah. about. Yeah? Um, wouldn't God reveal a perfect scripture? No, isn't God capable of revealing a scripture and keeping it perfectly preserved for mankind's uh, guidance? Yeah. And I'm saying the Islamic position on this is God created everything, God is uncreated, God sent prophets and messengers, men chosen amongst men as perfect examples and the message is gone through a perfectly preserved scripture which I would claim is the Quran. Yeah. Now the Quran has been carbon dated, we have a carbon dated Quran from the time of the Prophet peace be upon him in a university in Birmingham. You can literally, and that's where your boyfriend had to go, yeah? I'm like, how can you deny this? Yeah. I'm not saying it, it's not the Muslims saying it, independent academics verified that this Quran was written in the time of the Prophet Muhammad. And that goes perpetrating word for word, therefore they are dot for dot uh, as the Quran that Muslims read on a day-to-day -day basis. So here, this is a translation of this, the Quran from Arabic to English. So we've got over 2 million people have memorized the Quran word for word, letter for letter, and that's how we've preserved the Quran. How do you feel about that? I think that's, that's my, amazing. Huh? I think that's pretty amazing. Yeah, thank you. And I feel like that's my evidence for Islam being the truth. Anyone else who comes with anything, it's like they can't meet a high standard of verification. I'm like, God is perfect. No one's perfect. The God is perfect. God is perfect. Yeah.
Yeah. God's message is perfect. Yes. Um, what's revealed from God is perfect. Yeah. Now, if a book is perfect, it must be from God. This book, chapter um, nine verses into it, and we said a book where there is no confusion. In the Quran, many places says, and there's no mistakes and there's no crookedness in it. This is the only religious, the only religious scripture that claims to be from God. God is saying God revealed this. God is saying God will preserve this. So, if it hasn't been perfectly preserved, I will reject Islam. It's not from God. Yeah. Then that means the, the Quran has lied. And if the Quran has lied, then it's wrong, it's false. So, I'm saying that's where my faith comes from. And I'm saying the missing link in what you believe and what I believe, and for us to reconcile it, is the Quran. Yeah. If we can put the Quran into this conversation, into your belief, then you see that you get the keys to paradise. Because I find it interesting that right? your boyfriend left you in my capable hands. Yeah? Because you're someone who's looking for religion. Yeah. I'm someone who's talking about religion. There's nothing I've said which you disagree with. Yeah. Yeah? So what's stopping you from leaving this conversation as someone who's going to look into the Quran uh, in fact, before I ever go into that, what do you know about the Prophet Muhammad? Prophet Muhammad, he was sent by God. So you kind of... Do you accept him and believe him as a messenger of God? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do believe he was a messenger sent by God as well. Ashur Salam, you like, Salam, what are you saying? Stop. So you're like, you know. Oh my gosh. You've got the beliefs of what's it right now? Um, the article of faith for anyone to enter paradise yeah, is the Shahada. It's the testimony that there's only one God. And this God is the only thing that deserves to be worshipped. Yeah. And he sent, God sent um, his servant and message to Prophet Muhammad. Anyone who had that belief in their heart is a Muslim. So it's the belief in the heart. The Shahada means testimony. Then comes actions of the limbs. So the actions are uh, praying five times a day. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's something I need to get kind of like into. But I, I would feel fine with that. We pray five times a day. Um, I use the example of someone who's going to rob a bank, someone who's going to commit adultery. Yeah? When are they going to do it? Wake up, I pray. Afternoon, I have to pray. Afternoon, uh, midday, I have to pray. In the evening, I have to pray. Before I go to sleep, I have to pray. Imagine I've robbed the bank. Yeah? Then I'm going to and repent or feel guilty for it or it's just going to prevent me from doing it anyways yeah. Yeah. Um, I've met people who want to become Muslim as soon as I say you have to pray five times a day they're like I want that connection with God yeah. Yeah. and I think you're the same you're not someone who's going to reject that yeah? no. so five, praying five times a day that is given 2.5% of your wealth 2.5% of your wealth that you haven't spent in one calendar year after you've taken out all your living costs this is a law from God that's eradicated poverty this, when we implement this law of God there was no poor people can you imagine? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah? You can verify this um, factually from history. Yeah. I think I'll, I'll take a look at that yeah? as well. I'm going to have a read on that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, you're going to have to go into historians and see the things. And I could, I'm going to put you in touch with some sisters yeah. and they'll give you some information around it. Like in two separate occasions, we eradicate poverty. Yeah. Um, then you've got fasting in the month of Ramadan, which yeah. you know about. Yes, yeah. We just went through Ramadan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what does that do? Uh, it creates that connection with God. Um, I had like my non-Muslim colleagues, right? I need to sneeze. And I'm not going to sneeze. Oh, bless you. Bless you. I'm just thank you. Um, so, uh, I love fasting, man. It's so cool because um, it makes you appreciate poor people. Oh. <laughs> benefit of that, but that's not the reason yeah, I do it. No. I do it because right now, 
a couple of weeks ago we were fasting. I could act like I'm fasting. No one would know. Who would know? No one. No, just God. God. <laughs> yeah. So when I'm fasting, it creates God consciousness. Mm. I could come into work. I could tell my family members, yeah, I was fasting today. But in reality, I just had a quick lunch while I'm good to go. Uh, yeah. So the reason we fast is it creates that God consciousness connection with God. Mm. Yeah. Plus, side effects are. Uh, I can appreciate food now more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so. And as science has developed, we've realized that fasting for 30 days it actually works as an amazing detox for the body. It actually kills cancerous cells for fasting for such a long period of time. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And the thing is, we do these things, but we don't really truly understand the benefit. But God has revealed it, so we're getting the benefit. The we did that from because God. I'm quite busy. And the next thing Thank is, you. The fifth one is doing Hajj. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you can afford it, if you're not too old. Hajj, Hajj, Hajj. It's a holy pilgrimage. Oh, okay. Going to the site that was built by Abraham. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Out of five pillars, these are the fundamentals of Islam. Is there anything you disagree with? I think I kind of need to do a little bit more huh? research. I think I need to do a little bit more research as well for myself. No, no, but do you disagree with no, what I'm saying? No. On, and on face value? No. Like, if, I, if you look into it and you're like, oh, Hajj, you have to kill, sacrifice babies, then you might reject it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But for the sake of argument, um, until you find that part out, we don't do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, for the sake of argument, based on face value, what I've said, there's nothing you disagree with. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm saying to you, what's stopping you from leaving this conversation affirming what you already believe? Leaving this conversation as a Muslim who's gonna go and do her independent research, who's gonna proactively look into because I think, look. God wants you to have this conversation. God's chosen you to actually be inclined to what I'm saying. Because you haven't disagreed with anything I've said. No, I haven't. Yeah. So, what's stopping you from being a Muslim? I think it's just maybe about my family history. What about your family history? Just full Christianity. I think I would have to make the, like, the research, look into it more. So then when I do approach my family to talk about the change, it's going to come from a point of like, I know where I want to, why the reason why I want to do it. Why don't you um, start the journey now? Yeah. Become Muslim now. You don't need to go and announce it, Mom. But as soon as you no, like, call I'll your mom do it right when, now. Like, when I've made the conscious decision, yep, this is it. I'm not going to be looking back. I'm not going to. No, no, I'm saying you've got the belief now mm -hmm. the reason um, I would like kind of ask you to actually be proactive right now yeah. become Muslim proactively look into it you're gonna start procrastinating as soon as you leave the conversation you're like, that guy man whoa what he said was right yeah and then 10 minutes later yeah, it was good what he said. Half an hour later, oh man, I've got to no, chat to my I'll, mom I'm going to look this. into it, yeah. yeah. And the other thing is, what, do you, what belief do you need to enter paradise? The belief that there's only one God. Yeah, but you need to testify to it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, my point is, and I use the example all day, every day. Right? There's a difference between seeing the finishing line, knowing it exists, yeah. getting to the finishing line, and crossing the finishing line. I'm saying that you have the right belief, right? Yeah. But you need to testify to this fact. Yeah. And oh, my niece is calling me. One second. Oh, almost dropped my phone. You know? Damn. Salaam alaikum. Say that again, sorry. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Just collect me. Pull up where we normally pull the, leave the car and give me a buzz, yeah? No, no, not, not where we went yesterday, where we parked the car yesterday evening. I just meant to say, we know. I really can't hear the line is very bad. Family stuff. Forgive me. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. 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 I'm
Oh, bless you. Yeah, she's come to pick me up and then it's like, we're going to go together. But anyways, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so right now, obviously I'm going to give you the Quran, yeah? Yeah. But what I want you to do is like, look, if you got hit by a double-decker bus, yeah. where's your destination going to be? Because I'm saying that you don't have... Uh, no Christian church will accept you, the beliefs you have. Yeah? Because you've rejected the Trinity, which isn't taught in the Bible. We've rejected the Trinity that isn't in the Old Testament, isn't in the New Testament, didn't even come into business until like 300 years later. Yeah? Jesus Christ didn't teach Trinity. You've got the right belief, but Jesus Christ never said He is God. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm saying, what's stopping you from affirming what you believe now and then going proactively looking into Islam, reading the Quran? When I know plenty of people who, and I agree with you, your family's all Christian, right? be firm in your knowledge, research into Islam further, and then be like, look, come to them with the truth. But as you continue your journey, there's nothing about Islam you're going to dislike. There's nothing you're going to reject. Yeah. But you just have to do the journey. I can even introduce you to some revert sisters, right? Mm -hmm. That had the exact same conversation with you. And she procrastinated for such a long time. Yeah. And then by the time she became Muslim, and you can even um, check her out on Instagram. She's got, uh, I think it's called Hijabi Problems. Okay. Have you, do you know about it? No. I was, just I was like, chatting to her sister, problems. right? Yeah. And I was talking about hijabi problems. I said, oh, I subscribe to her, right? Like, you're not even Muslim. <laughs> so, like, you'd be surprised. This is yeah. popular, yeah? And she was in the exact same situation as yourself. And she delayed becoming Muslim. And now she's so proactive in Islam. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? All yeah. of her family members are Christian and so on and so forth. Yeah? So, I'm saying that, look, once your family sees that your what's the word practicing it your what you believe you have good reason to believe in it it's yeah. had a positive impact on you yeah um have you, did you find her no i kind of lost my insta i had a whole I think it was hijabi problems is that a dot or a bit space Sometimes it's like an underscore. It just comes up with problem Matty. I think so. Uh, wait, hold on. Let me, let me see. Uh, it's just me. Oh, here we go. This is the here. Oh, two S's. Yeah, go ahead. This isn't even sponsored by her, but she's released a notepad <laughs> with hijabi problem notepad notebook oh. but yeah so she's got like look she's being proactive now she was the exact same position as you yeah i had a conversation with her uh, she's like i need to look into this more i but, i do think i need to <laughs> so yeah that's cool my my mom is very like a very strong christian and my i do have an uncle who's a muslim um is he practicing yeah he is yeah. Um, but then Praise not five as times a day, yeah. proactively gaining knowledge. I believe so. I'm in what? Mum's side, dad's side? Uh, Mum's side, but they're just, they're kind of like, they don't communicate a lot. Yeah. So, what does your mum believe? Because your mum's belief is different to what you believe. I know. Yeah. She does. So, my point is, it's not something you need to announce to her now. Yeah. I'm saying that look, if what you believe is true, and that true belief will enter the paradise. Anything that contradicts it, and I don't know I'm going to come across harsh here, uh, is going to lead you to hellfire. Yeah? I've got family members, I've got extended families, I've got people that I've met who are doing this, who've become Muslim, new Muslims, right? Yeah. And it's difficult because if you procrastinate and you're not in a position to support your family to making the right decision, then like, there's a contradiction between what your uncle believes and what your mum believes. 
and you need to help your mum to that's get that correct belief. Yeah. Everything you're saying to you, like, I find it profound. Like, you're like, you're like a proper Muslim. Yeah. You're, you're telling me stuff, and you're telling me this is what you believe, but this is what Islam teaches you to believe. Yeah. How do you feel about what I'm saying, by the way? Uh, a little bit surprising, yeah. Why? No, it's surprising, but... No, 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 that's fine. You're entitled to that, that feeling. <laughs> But you're like undercover Muslim, you don't even know. Now, real talk, because I don't know Islam fundamentally. Look, I'm going to say some stuff and you tell me how you feel about it. Yeah? Yeah. There's only one book. In fact, I'm going to give you a four line definition in the Quran. Yeah? It's my niece. Oh, one second. Yeah? <laughs> so I'm going to go. And now, and now Jesus. Jesus now on yeah? that authority. Brilliant. Let's see the blue and yellow building. Yeah? Uh, let me just finish chatting to the sister who's going to become Muslim. Uh, she's going to tell you the Sahada. And, yeah. You can speak to her. Give her say hello to her. <laughs> Is that under authority? And that's why exactly what you said. What, what you are now My niece is such an introvert. Oh, bless. My little so, brother is exactly the same. She ain't going to chat to no one. My little brother does that. Be, uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, okay, I'm fine. Because if it was anyone's like, oh, let me chat to it. She's like, I'm parking the car. I'm like, you, can, you, you a moment ago said you parked the car, you're waiting for me. Now you say you're parking the car just to avoid the convo. Yeah, I get this. <laughs> All right. Full line definition in the Quran, which is Allah is uniquely one. Yeah. He's self-sustained eternally. He doesn't have offspring, uh, nor was he born. And there's nothing comparable to God. How do you feel about that spawn like definition? Kind of sums up what I think of. Exactly. So what's stopping you from worshiping that God alone? I think I definitely need to read that a bit more. And I'll I'll be able to come back and um because I think at the moment like maybe it's just a fear of like disappointing family, but I think it's also I wanna know the more knowledge. You've got knowledge. Yeah. Because the thing is you can't differentiate between the knowledge you have and what you believe. What your the knowledge you have is innate. Yeah? Like, people here like, I've studied Hinduism and I'm gonna go and bow to a statue. Uh, that's not knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Naturally you know not to bow to the creation but to the creator. Yeah. So you have knowledge. You're like, oh but I haven't got, I haven't studied academia and I haven't gone to university and studied theology. But you don't need to because innate you believe the right thing. So right now, what's important to you? Not to disappoint your family or to please God. Please God, but I also need to make sure I'm 100% sure. Because I know when I set my mind to something, Okay. I, and I'm like 100% in it. it, it would be hard for me to change, you can even ask him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just, I'm very stubborn with that. So I'm asking you a question now. Um, what do you need to verify? What, what is the fundamental thing that you're like, I need to know this and until I know this I'm not becoming a Muslim. I think it's more I just need to read into it a bit more. I think the fact that I've got the Quran is going to help me. But what, what, what do you want to read into it? Are you going to read all of it? I'm going to read once you've read, it. Once you've read all of it, are you going to read Hadith? I might, I might just read the whole thing. No, no, that's my point. Once you've read the whole thing, what do you want to do? Yeah, I think that's... Because it's going to affirm already what you believe. This is, you're not going to read it and be like, oh my gosh, I'm reject this. Yeah. Does it make sense? Because everything Islam teaches is natural, is innate. Yeah? Um, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, right? He said, the best amongst you is the one who's best to his wife. Yeah? 1400 years ago. Yeah? Um, a man came to the Prophet and said, uh, who deserves my companionship? He said, your mother. Who next? Your mother. Who next? Your mother. Who next? Um, your father. So he said, your mother, mother, three times, then your father. Yeah. So he's rising, raising the ranks of his parents. women and parents, yeah. mother. Yeah. The Prophet, peace be upon him. Yeah. 1400 years ago, years ago, you can Google it. This is called his final sermon. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, no white man is better than a 
black man. Yeah? Final sermon. Yeah? Prophet Muhammad's final sermon. Um, he said, no white man is better than black man. No Arab is better than non Arab. Being an Arab himself, why is he saying this? He's giving women's rights. And he says, the only thing that differentiates us, um, the, man, the people, is what's the belief in the heart. And I'm saying, you have the correct belief in the heart. That's what raises your rank. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's no racism in Islam. Have you noticed racism in Islam? No. Look there. Got my ginger brother. Yeah. Got my Jamaican brother. <laughs> yeah. This guy, I don't know him, but. <laughs> yeah. So I'm saying. Look, Asian people, Bengali, you've got Moroccan, you've got. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're interracial. I, I, I don't even see them as these different ethnicities or nationalities. I see them as my Muslim brother. So, what's stopping you from, like, because you're, you're talking about family politics, yeah? but like you said, the truth, when, like, once you've verified it to be true, you're gonna, you're gonna follow it full hearted, yeah. full hearted. Yeah? But what you believe and what Islam teaches is the same thing. So what's stopping you from affirming this truth? I don't, I don't yes. want to, by the way, this is a rhetorical question, yeah? Yeah. Because I don't want to like kind of pressure you, but I'm just trying to understand like, is there anything that about Islam that you disagree with? Let me, let me address it like, oh, like, why do you do this and why do you... It's more of a conscious decision, but a conscious, 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 wow, I said it fast the right time. Um, it's more like I kind of rather like read into it and then take my, like, just think about it and then make that decision. You're about decision. to say take your time. How yeah. much time are you going to take? How much time do you have? Once I read most of this book. Huh? Once I read most of the book. Yeah. But, yeah. So what, what's stopping you from affirming what you already believe? Because I'm not saying you be, affirm something you don't believe. Yeah. Do you believe in the Prophet Muhammad? Um, like, do you know, do you believe the Quran is the word of God? I think we believe it has the word of God. I think especially the Quran and the Bible has a lot of similarities, but like you said, the fact that it's never changing, been like memorized by a lot of people. Even the month of Ramadan, like, we, we prayed behind people the last 30 days who are memorizing it from memory the entire book so you affirm this one god you affirm the quran is from god as a muslim we believe in the perfect book that was revealed to jesus christ but we don't believe that's the bible we call it the uh, injil yeah? but the injil has been lost parts of it has remained but a lot of man-made elements have gone into it and you believe that the prophet muhammad is the messenger sent by god yeah? so you've got the beliefs of a muslim so why go on what's stopping you from testifying to this and getting the keys to paradise i think it's just the time thinking about it huh? i think i just need to have the time to think about it babe. that's all yeah. Yeah. I'm not pressuring you anymore. I've done the maximum pressure I know, I can you do. really try. I'm I'm not really I think it's just huh? like once I just set my mind off, I'm like, yeah, but I think it's like I need to think about it. No, no, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I'm, 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 my niece is waiting for me. God bless I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't pressure you anymore. Yeah. So. What, what, what's the game plan? What are we doing moving forward? I'm actually planning to go home, so it's going to give me a bit of time to... I need to do a bit of cleaning, but also give me time to read as well. Because I was thinking about reading something, so this is actually a good opportunity. You're going to read the Quran. Can I put you in touch with some sisters? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hopefully my phone's not going to die before I do that, because it's more precise. Okay, this is my number. Um, I lost my phone, so it's currently the phone I'm using. Do this. I'm a, I, don't, I don't like really exchanging um, numbers. Yeah. Let me give you the, this sister's number. You okay. message her, okay. she'll put you in touch with some sisters as well. Hopefully this does not die. Okay. Zero. Yeah. That's not every yeah. damage in the world. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Just that, the one there, yeah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> yep, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Just drop a little message. Um, and then the Reva sister, I'll get her to put you in touch with another group of sisters called Reva Reality. And they actually 
specialized in support and sisters like that. So, so if you got any questions, if you want to discuss his job and stuff like that. Because the thing is, you know I was going through the five pillars. The dress code isn't part of that five pillars. Does make sense? Because all of these things are you following other commandments to get closer to God. Yeah. The fundamental is what you have. Belief in God. Wanting to um, obey in God. So dress code and all these other things come later on. So don't want you to feel like, oh, if I become Muslim, I'm going to have to stop drinking alcohol. I do, yeah. yeah. Uh, my but you can be a Muslim that drinks alcohol, but you need to see as a sin. Yeah. And there's nothing in Islam which is forbidden, which is good. Mm -hmm. So, if you want long-term happiness, you follow the commandments, you want to be happy. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any questions for me before you go? And I really appreciate your time and I apologize if I come across a bit pushy and I know where you come from. I know where you come from. Um I don't but I actually messaged the um I messaged her already so yeah. hopefully I just sort of kind of like to digest this convo. Yeah. Um, I'm here every Saturday. You've got the Quran. I work around here anyway, yeah. so I've You've been coming around. No, literally every Saturday like I will really I wanna have a part two, yeah? Okay. A part two we'll record it. Yeah. Wait, you want to record it just see like, I've read this. Yeah. This is how much I read. This is what I think. So let's continue the conversation. All right. And then I can be a bit more pushy next week. Like, Why are you not Muslim yet? Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds Thank good. you so much. Let me take that brown thing off you. Yeah? Oh, yes. Brand I was thing. even forgetting. Look at you. Look at you. Cheeky. Cheeky. Yeah. Thank you so much, Susan. What, what's your name, by the way? Charlene. Charlene Ridwan. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Next week, hopefully. And yeah. Have that combo with people. Read that Quran. Yeah. Have, bye. From now until next week, how much do you you read? Uh, no pressure, be honest. 20? Huh? 20. Uh, your challenge, I'd be impressed if you read 10. If you read more, I'd be like, whoa. Yeah, uh, you'd, be, you'd be surprised. I, like, I know this one guy. He read the Quran to disprove it. He read it. He's like, look, I don't believe in it. I'm going to read this book. Did he work like day, night? I don't know. He he just honest. Like he, he was a, he was a Christian missionary. Yeah, and he wanted to disprove it, and then he ended up becoming Muslim after three days because he's like, there's nothing here I disagree with. And he he read it with the wrong intention. You're reading it with the right intention. So constantly ask God for help. Say, oh God, the one who created me. You don't need to say Allah. Yeah. You're Muslim, so you probably will say Allah. Say, Ya Allah, O Creator, the one who created the heavens and the earth, guide me to the right decision. Guide me, show me the truth from it. And that's it. Thanks so much. You take care, yeah? I can't shake hands for religious reasons. You get that, yeah?